Math 1314, Tyler Junior College, section 3.5, Rational Functions, Identifying Horizontal Asymptotes Examples. In the previous video, I introduced you to an algebraic trick that transformed each of these functions into a form where we could take advantage of the trick and answer the question, what happens to these functions' outputs as the x approaches infinity or negative infinity, and the results are summarized here. The horizontal asymptote of f of x equals 5x plus 1 over 2x squared minus 1 was y equals 0. The horizontal asymptote of g of x equals 5x squared plus 1 over 2x squared minus 1 was y equals 5 halves. And the horizontal asymptote for h of x equals 5x to the third power plus 1 over 2x squared minus 1, well, there wasn't a horizontal asymptote. And at the end of the video, I kind of hinted that it had something to do with powers, specifically the degrees in the numerator and the denominator. Without rehashing that discussion, here it is. To locate the horizontal asymptotes of a rational function, whose numerator we're calling p of x and whose denominator we're calling q of x, it all depends upon which side has the greater degree. If the numerator has the greater degree, there is no horizontal asymptote, such as this example. Because the degree on the numerator was 3, which was greater than the denominator's degree of 2, this function was destined to have no horizontal asymptote. However, if the, greater degree is, if the greater degree is on the denominator, which we're calling q of x here, and you know what, it might be better in this chart to not say p of x and q of x, but rather to say numerator and denominator, because honestly the names p of x and q of x are pretty ar arbitrary, but the words numerator and denominator, you should know what those are. So let's try it again. If the greater degree is in the numerator, there is no horizontal asymptote, such as in this third example. However, if the greater degree is in the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote is always y equals 0, such as this first example. The degree in the numerator was 1, but the degree in the denominator was 2. The greater degree was in the denominator, so the horizontal asymptote was y equals 0. To get an answer besides those two, they have to have the same degrees. Notice in the second example, the degree of both the numerator and the denominator was 2. When that happens, the horizontal asymptote is y equals the ratio of leading coefficients. In other words, if you're looking for a horizontal asymptote and the degrees match, that part is important, then your horizontal asymptote is simply the ratio of their coefficients, y equals 5 over 2. That's how easy it is to locate horizontal asymptotes. Let's take a look at some examples. I've thrown a small curveball in one of them, but nothing we can't overcome. And two of them, actually. So let's take a look at example A. m of x equals 2x plus 3x squared on top, and on the bottom, x squared plus 4x plus 7. Which side of the fraction is the greater, greater degree? The numerator, the denominator, or do they have equal degrees? If you set the denominator, I gotcha. The degree is the highest power, which is usually written first, but not always. The degree in the numerator is actually 2, as is the degree in the denominator. Since the degrees are the same, the horizontal asymptote is y equals the ratio of leading coefficients. The coefficient of x squared on the top is a positive 3. The coefficient of x squared on the bottom is an implied 1. So the horizontal asymptote is y equals 3 over 1, which is 3. Oh, and do me and your professor a favor. Don't write this. HA is not a variable. It's an abbreviation for horizontal asymptote. It doesn't equal things. Horizontal asymptote is a horizontal line. A horizontal line's equation is of the form y equals, well, is equivalent to the form y equals. So make sure you actually give me the equation of the line, not something like HA equals 3. B, n of x equals x plus 3 in parentheses squared over x plus 1. Who has the greater degree, the top or the bottom? If you 
you said they were equal, gotcha again. I know this x has a first power, but this parenthesis is squared, so we could write it twice and foil it. We don't have to. All we need to know is the degree. But if we foil this out, it would start with x squared. So this 2 is actually the degree of the numerator. Warning, a power in a parenthesis is not necessarily the degree. It is in this case. The degree in the denominator is just 1. So the greater degree is in the numerator. And when the greater degree is in the numerator, there is no horizontal asymptote. This graph will grow without bound as x gets larger, either going up or down on both ends. T of x isn't really tricky at all. I just threw some large powers in it. Who has the greater degree? The answer is the denominator. The degree in the denominator is 200. The degree in the numerator is only 100. When the denominator has a greater degree, the horizontal asymptote is always y equals 0. So it's really easy to, to identify the horizontal asymptote of a rational function if you can easily ascertain the degrees, which are usually pretty transparent. You just go look for the highest power. Every once in a while, you'll have a little bit of trickery like that.